Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. As you can see by this in the background, oh, don't look at the dirty clothes. We're gonna be doing hair today. I have a blonde wig that I want to dye basically. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I have to do the hair, but I wanna keep the hair blonde. I just want to tone it because it's a 613 wig and I hate the 613 color. So I'm going to show y'all my hair dye and everything. And we're going to get started because I'm sleepy. You can't tell. But okay. I have two L'Oreal Paris Excellence cream colors. So this is the first one I bought. I bought eight and a half champagne blonde um i really wasn't sure because i didn't want like a super blonde look i wanted more of a toned down blonde because i've done blonde before and it was more of like an ashy blonde so i didn't want to do anything too warm i wanted to do something a little bit more cool but i don't like super cool hair so i got this because i wasn't sure of the undertone i watched one video and they said it was like cool I don't know. So I got that one. And I want to mix this one into it. Number 7 Dark Blonde. Because it's like really ashy looking. And if you look on the back of the box. I'm going to be starting from something like this. So it's going to be super dark. So I didn't want dark. That dark either. Um, and this one is like a color that I want to do. But I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. I don't know. So... I'm gonna mix them and hopefully it doesn't go wrong. I'm really tempted to just do this one, but then I only bought one box, so if I need two boxes. I don't know. Blonde. I got two dyes. Now I don't know which one I want to do for the root color. This is brown black. I was gonna do brown black, but I was like, I don't want super dark roots. Or do I want super dark roots? And then this one is dark brown. I'm leaning towards this one. And if this one isn't dark enough, I could always just go in with this one and cover it. I can't like fix it if it's too dark. So, I don't know. We're not gonna do this part tonight though, because the hair has to dry. Tinashe hair, I think that's how you pronounce it. They sent me a wig. Um, it's a 613, is it 14 inches? I think it's a 14 inches. Um. I'll make sure I post it though in the description so you guys can know. 14 inch, 613, 13 by 6. One thing I don't like about pre made wigs though is that you only get this much space on the sides of lace. I hate that. Like, why doesn't it come all the way back with the rest of the frontal? Maybe it's to make it thicker. I don't know. But uh i feel like this is pre-plucked i don't know we'll figure it out if not we'll plug it some more hopefully the hair isn't stiff or anything and it does come with combs hmm no adjustable strap that's different okay no adjustable strap but it comes with three combs probably gonna cut all the combs out no it comes with four combs i'm probably gonna cut all those out except for the back one probably because i hate the combs but yeah the hair is soft though i will say i've had two 613 wigs and they both were trash before not from this place um <laughs> two random places that i just like ordered because i saw a review on youtube So just snap this off. What is this, the champagne one? Yeah. Here. Kind of glad I didn't get another bottle. Bought one. 
spots that are still kind of blonde but i'll try to like cover okay guys so it is later on in the day and this is the wig now um i think that my camera died whenever i was dying I mean, it kept dying whenever i was trying to show like the finished product after i rinsed it um whenever i rinsed it i just rinsed the hair out and i shampooed it i know you're not supposed to like shampoo hair after you dye it so it's just like rinse it and then condition it I like to shampoo hair even though it's just dyed because i hate the smell of some dyes like this dye smells kind of spicy it reminds me of the way wella toner smells and i hate the way your hair smells after you use those wella toners it doesn't want to focus but i just use like the little conditioners that came in the box of dye and um I don't know if you can hear the washer. This is the color I got. Let me turn this light on. This is the color I got. I should probably get my ring light, but I'm being kind of lazy. Okay, you can see the color best whenever I show it in the mirror. So I'm gonna do it like this. So this is the color that I got. It's like a ashy gray blonde i feel like if i would have just put in the what was it called champagne blonde then it would have been like a super pale blonde and that's not what i was going for either i wanted more of like a warm blonde but i mean i don't really know how to achieve that unless i was to like dye this from uh brown if i were to bleach it i could probably do it as a 613 still but i'm not that advanced when it comes to coloring i was intentionally planning on doing like color on this wig i probably end up doing color on it whenever i get tired of the blonde if i get tired of it but yeah i'm gonna have to wear makeup with this because it's super pale like super pale but yeah we're gonna do the roots on it <laughs>
know i ended up using brown black to dye the roots um it looks kind of dark not gonna lie i feel like i've used this color before and it was like really brown but it looks kind of dark um so let's just pray it's not like too dark i'm gonna let it process a little bit longer because this side needs to get as dark as that side and then after that we're gonna rinse and i'll be back to show you guys the finished look okay so i'm finally back um i think i finished dyeing that hair and basically i hated it so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like why i hate it okay, i'm gonna show you guys hey no barking but i'm gonna show you guys the wig and why i don't like the color so hold on so here's the wig and this is why i don't like it because it came like it turned out to be like this really cool tone blonde and that's not what i wanted i actually wanted more of a warm blonde so i'm gonna dye it again but this time i'm gonna do a color i'm not gonna try to do blonde again um because maybe it was just like <coughs> <coughs> maybe it was not meant for me to do blonde so yeah i've done blue hair before so i'm gonna do blue hair again because i like the blue hair um i went to the store today and i bought some hair dye same hair dye i used when i did blue the first time you guys have not seen my blue hair because i did it like last year no it wasn't on youtube last year so well oh okay never mind okay i bought i have three different colors so this these are the two i used the first time this is a new bottle this is my older bottle so there's like a lot in it i used aqua well, marine is that gonna focus but adore um i used emerald too i mixed those together focus 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 emerald okay and then today i bought baby blue because i don't want it to be such a greenish blue i want it to be more of a true blue what does it look like on the inside oh. Ooh, it's like super blue okay so that's that one okay i'm gonna let y'all see all of them so that's that one the inside of this one is like i love the way this dye smells it's like a greenish blue obviously well no it looks kind of like no it, this is more like a greenish blue okay and then aqua marine is basically the same thing okay it's basically the same thing well, those are the dyes. I don't think I'm going to use emerald, though. Mainly, we're going to be using aquamarine and baby blue. So, I have my container. Uh, I'm going to fill this with hot water probably to about here. So, will this reach over here? Okay. Well, I thought my little faucet thing would reach, but it's not. So, let me just fill this with, like, super hot water and... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Okay. I think this is enough water. It should be. The hair isn't so long, so I don't need too much water. I'm going to show y'all my live audience. Wait. Zoom in, sis. Okay. Y'all look. Clutchy. Say hey. Hey, Clutch. His name is Clutch. <laughs> okay. That's my live audience. He's watching me. Making sure everything goes good. So, yeah. So, I'm going to point y'all down so y'all can see me mixing the dye now. Okay. Is that good enough, y'all? Don't look at the dishes in the sink. I'll wash them later. I feel like this is kind of... It's not that hot. Okay. It's not that hot, but I will. Okay. So, also, I have my big mixing spoon that I use every time I do this. Um to mix up the dye. So I'm just gonna like go full throttle and just get started. I kinda wanna just do baby blue. Okay, I'm gonna do baby blue first and see what it looks like and then decide if I wanna add aquamarine. So just take it and just add it. That's about half the bottle, I think. And I'm just gonna mix it. And you don't wanna do too much water because then your color will be very diluted. I'm gonna add more. Oops. Make sure you mix it 
really good so there's not any big dye um, chunks sitting in the water because if you do not mix it and you put the hair in there and there's big dye chunks, it'll like put a patch on the hair. So make sure it's mixed really good. that through okay wait a minute okay. I'm gonna add the whole bottle actually because it's not as dark as I want it and then this is where aqua aqua marine is gonna come into play because I probably should have gotten two bottles of and I'm gonna actually take this and run it under the sink in the bottle just to get the rest of it out. Okay. I'm not gonna take a lot of this. Just to make the water more opaque. We're just gonna take this wig and just dunk it. If this does not come out good, then I basically give up on this hair. <laughs> Dunk it, make sure it's picking up the color everywhere. Look at that. Can you guys see the way? Oh, there's still some blonde in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, dye okay I'm gonna take the wig out actually to add more dyes I don't want to get a patch like I said then submerge it I'm just gonna let it. Where did my spoon go? Okay, it's in the water. Oh, my hands are turning blue. That's not what I wanted to happen. Okay. Oh well. So I'm just gonna let this sit for like maybe 20 minutes and then I'll be back to rinse it. So, see you guys in about 20 minutes. I'm back. Okay, sorry in advance if you can get the dishwasher. It's been about 20 minutes and. This is what it's looking like. You probably definitely can hear that. Sorry. But this is what it's looking like. I know it's going to be definitely brighter whenever it dries. But this is the color that I was going for. Um, everything in the inch side. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Looks uh, like the inside didn't really get it die on it hold on let me add a little bit of this aquamarine because the inside is still kind of a greenish color okay so i'm gonna have to speak over the dishwasher do not think that there but this is what i have um i don't know if you can see that there's like a little bit of greenish tone in the middle so I don't feel like it's gonna change any more colors so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse it and I'm gonna rinse it with cold water and we're going to um, just condition it I'm not gonna shampoo it 
I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys the conditioner I use. I just use this swab conditioner every time um, on my hair, on my um, wigs and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna wash and I'll be back. The hair has been towel drying for about, I don't even know, but it's been towel drying for a while. I'm just gonna brush it out and I'm gonna put it on my mannequin my he mannequin head and um, let it dry. But yeah, this is the color. I like it. I can't wait till it dries so I can see the full color. But yeah, so far, so good. So yeah, that's it. And I'll update you guys whenever the wig is dry and everything. All right, here is the finished product after I um, plucked the wig and then I straightened it. This is how the color turned out. I don't think it's, it's not really showing up the true color. Actually, the color on camera is what I was going for, but it's more of a, I don't know, a, um, deeper blue with more like of a green tint to it. This is the color I wanted that's showing on camera, but like I said, you can't see the true color. So yeah, I plucked it and everything. And I also sprayed my lace tint on it. So the lace has been tinted a little bit. And so I should probably pluck right there a little bit more. As you can see, I kind of got, whenever I was dyeing the hair, the roots, I got some of the um, dye on the knots. So they're kind of dyed. But I don't really care because... um. I mean, this isn't something I want to wear every day, but yeah, that is the finished product. So I'm just going to install it now. I'll probably include that in this video, but if I don't, then just know to expect another video. Mm -hmm.